Welcome back everyone to Vlogmas 2023. It is December 1st, day one um, of Vlogmas and I am Alicia of A Pickle Walk Sloth Knits. So I am so glad you're here and I am currently sipping some Harney and Sons Christmas holiday tea in my sloth mug. Um, it's very hot right now. I just brewed it. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes. So I just am very excited to start Vlogmas. So I'm gonna just start right away with my um, Wooly Dragon Day One Mini. And I got their Cozy Christmas um, Advent Calendar. And so every day I get a little 20 gram mini of sock yarn. I had talked about maybe doing the twist cardigan by Amba O'Brien uh, for my advent knitting uh, with this advent calendar. However, I downloaded the uh, pattern just a little bit ago. And as I was looking over it, it's a lot. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be a little bit too much for me to try to do for advent. Uh, I think I'm gonna put that on hold until maybe the beginning of next year. Um, so I, I don't know for Advent knitting, I have a, several socks on the needles right now. Um, and then I was also kind of thinking uh, of maybe starting a blanket with my Advent and Christmas yarn. So um, Kay over at the Crazy Sock Lady um, is doing a, uh, mitered square blanket and she is holding her Christmas minis double um, to get a more DK weight in that. So I may do that. I already have one of those blankets started just with random uh, fingering weight yarn, but it might be fun to have one that is specific to Christmas. And I do have a few Christmas yarns in fingering weight that I could hold double um, that are in my stash that are leftovers from other things from this wrap that I'm wearing. Actually, I have some of this left. Um, and just from years in the past, I am also working on, um, 
some socks, a second set of socks from last year's uh, Cozy Knitter uh, Christmas uh, Advent yarn. Um, and I will have a little bit of that left over. Um, what else? Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna look through my stash and maybe do a blanket. I'll either do one of the mitered square blankets or um, the a hexy blanket in crochet, just maybe to give myself a break on the knitting since I'm doing socks um, and I'm knitting up all of those. So I may do one of the two of those. I haven't fully decided yet. Um, so I'm gonna kind of look into that today. Um, so maybe more news to come with that. So like I said, I am working on a uh, second pair of socks with last year's Cozy Knitter Advent. Um, these are, I'm working them on nine inch circulars, uh, size zero, and these will be a gift. Um, these will not fit my feet. <laughs> so I have a pair of my own. Um, and so, and I still had plenty left over. So I thought I would do a gift knit with these. Um, and it is just a plain vanilla sock. I did um, one by one ribbing for about 20 rows on the cuff and I did cuff down. Um, I did a, sorry for the, it, my stitch marker is a little bell <laughs> and it makes bell noises. Um, anyway, so I did one by one ribbing on the cuff, um, knit the leg just in stockinette. I did do um, slip stitches just to give a little bit of detail. Uh, did a fish lips kiss heel. <laughs> So, and this was actually my first go at that and I liked it. I liked the way it worked up. Um, so we'll see how the fit is. And then just a standard toe. And I used um, my contrast color. I don't have any information on that. I found that in um, my Taya haul <laughs> and it did not have a label. So it is fingering weight and I just went with it. <laughs> um, so I have those socks going. I also have my cozy knitter for this year um, and they are going and I'm just doing a vanilla sock on those. I did the same um, one by one ribbing on the cuff, doing cuff down. Um, I'm doing them on nine inch circulars and I believe they're one US ones. I believe they might be one and a half. Anyway, um, got my little stitch stoppers. And I picked these up during the yarn crawl and I can't remember where, which store I got them from. So anyway, that is sock number two. Uh, and then let's see, where's my other pair? They're there. I, so before I ordered the Cozy Knitter Advent for this year, for 2023, um, I thought I had missed the deadline and I was having FOMO because I really enjoyed last year was my first year doing that and I really enjoyed the self-striping and so I was, I was experiencing a little bit of FOMO. So I went to the internets and I found myself some self-striping yarn from Mustache Yarn and I ordered a self-striping set thinking, okay, I'll just do, it doesn't have to be Christmas themed or it doesn't have to be specifically 24 stripes. Um, so I decided I would just order some self-striping and I did, and this is from Mustache Yarn. And it is, the colorway is called, I believe, Family Reunion. And it is self-striping. And here, this is actually my second sock. Again, cuff down, um, one by one ribbing. I did the slip stitching again to give a little bit of uh, flavor <laughs> to the sock so it doesn't look quite so plain. I um, have my little corgi needle stitch stoppers. Um, these I got at Juju Knits in Fort Worth and um, I hadn't planned on buying any there, and then I saw that they were corgis, and so I had to. Um, I do have, 
I am on the second sock. So the, the cuff and the toe is, let me find it, is Black Sheep Dye Works. There's their little, and it is the color Cobalt, and it was just a mini that I had purchased. Um, and then the heel is actually the same as the heel for the Cozy Knitter for last year's Cozy Knitter socks, um, and so I don't know what it is. Um, and again, I did the, the Fish Lips Kiss heel. Um, so these are for me, <laughs> and I hope to finish the second so sock soon so that I can start wearing them. Um, so those are the three pair of socks that I have going right now. Um, and I hope to finish up uh, two of them. I am on the second sock and this year's cozy knitter. I am working them both at the same time. So, um, I may be a little ahead. It's hard to find cause she did a fade this year. So it's kind of hard to find where the day ends. Um, so I'm just kind of knitting those and enjoying them as I go. And hopefully I didn't spoil anything for anyone. Um, so I, those are the three pair of socks. I'm hoping to get them finished relatively quickly. Um, additionally, I went diving through my stash, looking for Christmas colored or themed yarn to maybe do one of these blankets. And I found this beautiful skein from Potions Yarn. And it is her Banshee fingering. It's 100% superwash merino, uh, 430 yards, 400 meters. Um, and it is the color Gingerbread Cottage. And I believe I got this yarn on the yarn crawl in 2022, the North Texas yarn crawl. Um, and I think I got it, I think the store that where I purchased this is no longer in business. So. Um, I've just been holding on to this little treasure. So I may, oh, I may find something to, uh, add this to, or to knit, use this for, and then use any leftovers in whichever blanket I choose to knit up for Advent. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so that's a possibility. Lots of things going on. Um, oh, also, I forgot, I did get some little goodies with my Wooly Dragon Advent, so I thought I'd share them since it is day one and I've opened the first mini. Um, so they sent, let's see, sorry, there's gonna be some crinkling. They sent a wool wash soap and it is from the Soapy You. And this is their little card. And it, it looks like this. And I have not taken it out of the packaging yet. I smell it a little bit. Anyway, it smells good <laughs> from what I can tell. Um, so that'll be fun to try. Uh, they also sent a cute little sticker. I may add this to my planner probably to my planner. Um, a couple of pins. Let's see. And then their, their little dragon. You can barely see him. He's little. And a Katrinkles. So fun little extras. Oh, and a pen, <laughs> a writing pen. Um, so lots of little goodies in with the advent. Um, so yeah, uh, that is about it for today. Oh, no, it's not. Um, I also wanted to, um, share the advent Jesse tree. I will be, um, posting or adding the ornaments, pictures or videos of the ornaments each day with the verses from each day's devotional for, uh, preparing for Christmas. Um, it is devotions for children and adults to prepare for the coming of the Christ child at Christmas um, is the Advent Jesse tree. And the way this worked, the way that I ever got started with this 
is one of my uh, friends who is a fellow pickle walk sloth. Um, she found the devotional and she had, um, she organized it to have a party where she invited 25 of us and we each picked a day and we made ornaments for that day. So each day has an ornament that coincides with the day. So day five has a little lamb ornament uh, that goes with the devotional. And then, so you add an ornament to the tree each day and you, you read the devotional with your kids or your family or whomever. And um, so she found 25 friends who wanted to do it. So the first year I did day five, I did the lamb. And so I made 25 lambs and then we all got together and had a little, an exchange party and exchanged all the ornaments. So we each got a set of the ornaments, the 25 ornaments. Um, and so it was really a neat thing. And we actually have done the swap. Hmm. I want to say three times. Um, I've done the lamb twice, I believe. I think I've done the lamb twice. And then one year I had a friend who wanted, she did a Joseph's coat. Um, so it was like a multicolored coat. And so I crocheted hers. She commissioned me to crochet her um, 25 little coats. Um, and then I believe the, the last time we did it, I crocheted um, little tree stumps for the, um, for the Jesse tree. <laughs> um, so I think we've done it three times, if I'm remembering correctly. I believe I've done the lambs twice. So I'll be showing the ornaments. Uh, some were made by me and some were made by, many were, were made by others. Um, they are not all yarn. In fact, most of them are not yarn, uh, not crocheted or knit ornaments. Some are done uh, the moms did it with their kids. So they're, um, kid friendly, uh, crafty projects. Others are, um, a little more ornate, but it's really a fun thing every year, um, to pull those out, look at the ornaments again and go through the devotional. So I'll be including that here as well. Um, and yes, so I think that is all the talking I have for today. <laughs> Um, I am hoping to have a few out of the house adventures during Vlogmas. Um, we have a few dive meets coming up here in the next couple of weeks for the son who dives, <laughs> um, who is a senior in high school, not a senior in college. Like I said yesterday, that was crazy, <laughs> but daughter in college, she is not a senior, um, but the boys are seniors in high school and he does have a few dive meets coming up. So we'll be going on to those and I'll be taking my knitting. Um, what else? I have a favorite things party with, um, the women's ministry at church. Uh, so I think my mom and my sister-in-law are going to go that to that together. Um, Hmm. Oh, the pickle walk sloths will be having their annual wrapping party. Um, that is later in the month, closer to Christmas. Um, so I will try to get some pictures or video at that and take you all along. Um, it's always a wonderful time. Um, our friend who hosts it has, um, moved recently, not uh, within the last couple of years, she moved to Hillsboro, Texas, which is about an hour, um, not too far. So, and she has, she lives on a nice piece of property down there. So it's fun to drive down there and haul all of our presents and, wrap everything up and um, then bring it home and put it under the tree. So I will try to take you all along to that later on in the month. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to sign off for today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>